Welcome to Roll Power Channel. So today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna upgrade this ESC with some copper terminals instead of using the wires. So when I connect the wires, it gotta get screwed on. All right. So this was a airplane ESC. I cut a aluminum plate and I purchased this water cool block from Amazon probably a few years ago but uh, if I can find information I will post it on my channel on my description however I bought some capacitors these are 85 I mean actually 560 UF 80 volt I mean you do need capacitor so this ESC the reason why it don't have no capacitor on it because uh, I blew all the capacitor one day trying one of my little boogie board in the pool and I think it was too much load and all the capacitor exploded. So I thought this ESC was no good. So I was going to dispose of ESC and use it for scrap but someone wants to just go ahead and add some new ESC which this is the pack that I put together and it is working for sure. So. You always have to have an ESC. If you build an application that draws a lot of power, you do want to add more capacitor, which is called the cap pack. So, to because it pulls a lot of energy, and it's pretty much bad for the ESC. I mean, I mean, you'll look, do some research, you'll find more details about cap pack and stuff like that. Right now, I'm not gonna explain that. So. It's a water cooling block. I add these little tubings, one of them hose tubings. So let me turn on this. Okay. These little terminals that I'm gonna add on there, I already removed one of the wires. This one goes right. It's this. I'm gonna solder this onto this part right here. I'm gonna remove this part. I know I need to upgrade my helping arms and you know more stuff to make it a lot easier. All right, this is warming up. So what I'm gonna do? I have this. This torch, you can get it from Harbor Freight Tools. Forty. I think it's sixty percent lead, forty percent. Ah, uh, what is this? I have this right here. Raw solar flux. Make it a lot easier to solder. You know this. Got this from Radio Shack before it closed. So I had this for a couple of years.
it with this video, whatever, whatever. Okay, all right. I need to solve this, but I want to cover this. I can use still. I can use tape. See, remember, remember what I said? This coming comes in, comes handy. Ah, coming handy. My English. All right. Oh my four is coming. But I'm gonna just solve it for now. I mean, later on I could just remove it and add this, mix it up as a two part, mix it in a cup, pour it, and let it dry, and cover this part and make it waterproof so water won't seep in. Because what's water get into this thing? Especially this little cavity right here. Let me pour it out. This little cavity up in here and then touch those MOSFETs. OMG. It's gonna be a fire rush, yo. This thing gonna catch on fire and explode. I mean, you don't know what's gonna happen, but something bad gonna happen. Put it like that. All right. So I'm happy to get this done. This thing is uh, it's a little crooked, but it's good. I made them straight. So this. All right. Just saw this on. 